Today is about getting started using your Timex Cycle Trainer 2.0 by computer. Before you start using it though, be sure to charge it for at least 4 hours through the USB port on your computer. And once fully charged, you'll have 18 hours of battery life in full GPS mode. Now for the very best performance and accurate calculations, you want to configure it to your specific user profile and bike settings. The easiest way to do this is on your computer while the Cycle Trainer is plugged in. You can do it directly on the Cycle Trainer itself, but it's a lot easier and faster on the computer. First, you'll need to download the Timex Device Agent desktop software, which also will give you access to a free online training log powered by Training Peaks. To do that, go to TimexIronMan.com forward slash device agent. This is where you can find firmware updates as well. To learn more, watch our video titled Connecting Your Timex Ironman GPS to Your Computer. Okay, let's begin with your cycle trainer plugged in with the USB cable. Double click on the device agent icon on your computer. This is the screen that should pop up. You'll select the Timex Cycle Trainer in the device drop down menu right here. As you can see, it's already checked right there. Then press settings. Now, the first thing you'll want to do, I'll move the screen over here so we can see it a little bit easier. The first thing you'll want to do is set the time. The time is automatically set though by the GPS, but you'll want to make sure that you have the correct format, time zone, and then mark daylight saving on or off. Click configuration, then system settings over here in the left hand side and then time settings which is over here on the right hand side this is where you'll make it specific to where you live I'm here on the US Pacific time format I like 12 hours and then I'm checking daylight saving time also while you're here in configuration under units you have three options to choose from English metric and nautical be sure to choose the one that's most appropriate for you then you'll need to go back over to user profile here on the left hand side and set your personal details. This way you'll have your accurate heart rate zone and calorie calculations. One of my favorite configuration options is page settings just below user profile. Click on that and this is what you'll see. You can customize up to four additional screens to show other data during your ride. For example, I have time, distance, power, speed, cadence, and power average on my first screen. Click on the drop down and you have more than two dozen options to change and you can do this for each screen on your cycle trainer. Now it's not required but you can configure additional settings such as hands free features and ride alerts to get even more out of your cycle trainer and you'll find these features under activity. Click on that. To pause the timer when your speed gets too low or drops below a certain point for example like if you're at a stoplight or rolling to a stop, highlight either when stopped or custom speed and you can make those changes below. There's also the option of automatically taking a split after a certain amount of time or distance. It's right here under auto lap. You can click distance or time or leave it off. I have it off in this case. Here's another helpful option you might like, ride alerts for time, distance, speed, pace, heart rate and cadence and even power. That's under the headline of activity where we are right now and click on alerts. This is the screen that will pop up. Let's look under the power option. Let's say you want to be alerted based on power zone. I'll check mark power zone here. Let's say you want to be alerted when you're above 350 watts. Well, then you will check the high power alert option there. And let's say you want to be alerted when you are below 150. Click right there and you can easily change any of these numbers just by going on your computer. Once you're happy with all your choices, be sure to click on the save button and you're all set. In our next video, I'll show you how to set up and connect your heart rate sensor and other AMP Plus sensors like your power meter and your speed and cadence sensors.